What's up, YouTube? It's Yardy. I'm doing all that talking stuff. We got to another video. We got the best of weekend update. Best of weekend update jokes part one. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the links in the description, and let's get into it. Subscribe and finally, channel. weekend update. Would like to congratulate Madonna, who gave birth to a beautiful baby girl last Monday. The baby weighed in at six pounds, nine ounces, making it the fourth largest object ever to pass through Madonna's birth canal. <laughs> It was reported that more than 400 million pieces of plastic has washed up on a remote island in the Indian Ocean. And for reference, here's what 400 million pieces of plastic looks like. <laughs> a student in Texas who is nicknamed White Lightning set a high school record by running the 100 meter dash in 9.98 seconds. Coincidentally, people call me White Lightning because I also finish in under 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a joke so much. Safer drivers, men or women? Well, according to a new survey, 55% of adults feel that women are most responsible for minor fender benders, while 78% blame men for most fatal crashes. Yeah. Please note Isn't that the right? percentage in these pie graphs do not add up to 100% because the math was done by a woman. <laughs> 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 For those of you hissing at that joke, it should be noted that that joke was written by a woman. So, <laughs> now you don't know what the hell to do. Now, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We don't hire women. <laughs> we will put oh, ourselves ads on the line up, to answer anybody's questions. What ad running though? Please subscribe. subscribe. A new study finds that frogs in the rainforest have a higher pitch call than urban frogs. The study also finds that female frogs be That's shopping. <laughs> I stand by that joke. Manatees have recently been upgraded from endangered species to merely threatened. So for a limited time only, the McManatee is back. <laughs> and that was kept Andy Music alive. News, number one on the college charts this summer, was better than Ezra. And at number two, Ezra. This Wednesday was a day without a woman, sponsored by Jergens Lotion. Jergens, <laughs> you know what it's for. <laughs> An American woman set a new Continuous. record by visiting <laughs> every country in the world in 19 months. And after all that travel, she found the one thing that had been inside her all along, Zika. <laughs> Well, this coming some. Monday is Oscar night, and three films, The English Patient, Secrets and Lies, and Shine, are locked in a tight race in the category, Best Picture There's Not a Chance in Hell I Will Ever See. But half of the stuff that get nominated, I've never seen. No, nobody ever talks about the movies that get nominated, and that's a problem. See, Nick... I got to hook up too better than half the stuff. <laughs> no, I ain't going to say I got to hook up too. But... What movie, bro? It's it's movie. It's a bit like they do that with albums too. Like I don't listen to Nas, bro. Come on, y'all putting the wrong people up for these awards. Hundreds of new emojis to its eye. This thing 59% of people eat on their chocolate Easter bunnies are the ears, while the rest are like me and go straight for that butt. <laughs> <laughs> Apple has announced that it will add hundreds of new emojis to its iOS system, including yeah. a person at a spa, a vomiting face, and a shushing finger. Finally, giving emoji fans the ability to describe what it was like to work for Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> At Virginia Commonwealth University, a professor is being sued following revelations that he spanked one of his students. It was the student's parents who first became suspicious when they asked, What kind of marks are you getting? And she replied, Big red ones on my ass. So. <laughs> Officials in England say that over $60 million worth of cocaine washed up on a beach. For reference, here's what $60 million worth of washed up cocaine uh. looks like. <laughs> Hollywood <laughs> prostitute Divine Brown has written a book describing in lurid detail exactly what she did with Hugh Grant. Oh, what the, the book sells for $25. Bro, that's why you can't be messing around with everybody, dog. They gonna somebody gonna tell, but leave people alone, don't 
You know, you know you're supposed to mess with them? Don't mess with them. But for $35, she'll show you. You <laughs> see yes, Firefighters in Texas deal, saved know? more than 100 snakes, including, <laughs> including pythons and boa constrictors, from a burning home. Said the homeowner, cool, so where's my wife? <laughs> A sad yeah. piece of news came in today from the Bedford Hills prison, where Jean Harris is serving a sentence of 15 years. At noon yesterday, she made her second suicide attempt. Two cellmates, three wardens, and a priest were killed. <laughs> uh, a church in Massachusetts has created a nativity scene that comments she on the is. immigration <laughs> debate by placing the baby Jesus in a cage. Where he belongs. <laughs> Former First Lady Nancy Reagan reports that her husband has been relaxing at their ranch, riding horses and chopping wood. Sadly, eyewitnesses report that he was actually riding wood and chopping horses. <laughs> I do it like that, man. <laughs> Human activity is disrupting chimpanzee culture. Incidentally, chimpanzee culture is also what my grandpa calls hip hop. <laughs> Why? Joke swap. <laughs> it ain't good for joke swaps. Pope Francis ended a Vatican summit by promising the Catholic Church would confront the clergy sex abuse head on instead of their usual way, face down, ass up. <laughs> In the White House this week, couch. President Clinton officially came out against same-sex marriages. What's more, the president said he is not too crazy about opposite-sex marriages either. <laughs> Two men. <laughs> Bill Clinton is a, a Massachusetts couple whose son was he born during the Super Bowl has named him Brady, while an Atlanta couple whose son was born during the Super Bowl has named him Son of a Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> In New York this week, Sammy the Bull Gravano was sentenced to just five years in prison for committing 19 murders. You better be careful, though, because New Ooh. York has just passed a tough new law. 20 strikes and you're out. <laughs> Nigeria's president, Mohamedou Buhari, for the first time denied months-old rumors that he had died and been replaced by a look-alike from Sudan. See, even Joke Africans can't tell black people <laughs> <laughs> the richest girl in the world, billionaire Athena Onassis, celebrated her 10th birthday this week. What's it like to be the richest girl in the world? Well, to give you some idea, at the party, they had two cakes. It was reported that North Korean hackers stole a number of military documents from South Korea, including a plan to assassinate Kim Jong-un, though all the plan says is, oh, wait for diabetes. <laughs> Julia Roberts told reporters this week that her marriage to Lyle Lovett has been over for some time. The key moment, she said, came when she realized that she was Julia Roberts and that she was married <laughs> to Lyle Lovett. <laughs> It was reported that Yahoo and AOL will combine to form a new company because no one wants to die alone. And once again, Microsoft CEO Bill Gates is the richest man in America. Gates said, Rich as a motherfucker, but hey, Bill Gates, you lost a lady, pass money on to the homeless, to the black community. We buying all this anyway. He said he is grateful for his huge financial success. But it still makes him sad when he looks around and sees other people who have any money whatsoever. <laughs> Conservatives are upset over a new episode of the PBS children's cartoon Arthur, in which Arthur's teacher is revealed to be gay. Meanwhile, no one seems to care that Peppa Pig's head is a full-on penis. <laughs> but that's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, shout out to SNL. Please don't copyright the video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the links in the description. I'm Yadi. I'm out. All praise to the most high.